A restaurant owner disputing violations exposed on a health inspection that led to one of the worst scores for the year on Food for Thought. Tonight, only the Food Patrol has got photo proof as to what went wrong. Get ready for the good, the bad, and the dirty dining as we reveal what's not on the menu in this week's Food for Thought. If these inspector photos could talk, they would likely tell a very dirty story. Cross-contamination, food at room temperature, and mold in the ice machine. Casuelas Restaurant on 149 West Rosen in San Benito is busted with the most demerits this week on Food for Thought. 51 turned up on an October 13th inspection. Nearly one year after the Food Patrol exposed the restaurant for dirty conditions, just take a look at all the violations now. Rust, mold, there are check marks all over the report. An inspector says Casuelas failed a reinspection on Tuesday, but scored four demerits Wednesday morning. Owner Joe Sirtis says conflicting instructions by the inspector on a previous checkup led to confusion, and he disputes many of the violations. He wants customers to know Casuelas is now clean. Chopsticks on 1900 West University in Edinburgh failed to keep it clean. The restaurant scored 22 demerits on October the 7th. Not on the menu. Employees eating in the cooking area. Beef and carrots stored together. Cross-contamination. No, no. Flies in the kitchen and dirty equipment. The Food Patrol is here to see what went wrong with so many demerits. When you saw the initial score, 22 demerits, as the manager, how did that make you feel to get I that? Mean, it bad. I mean, it looks better to me. Steve Pantoa is manager at the restaurant. He puts the blame squarely on himself as the leader. He says the kitchen got slammed on the day of the inspection. There was uh, no control in the kitchen. Um, as far as that, I mean, we had everything under control before. But since, I mean, we're in the lunch rush, I mean, it's kind of a... Hectic and I mean, but I had the guys clean up. This tour is to show things are back under control. Steve says the whole crew learned a lot from the low score. It's something that's been corrected on a reinspection with 11 demerits. Oh, better. Uh, better for the restaurant. Camori on 4500 North 10th Street in McAllen is this week's featured top performer with zero demerits. The restaurant is now a four time top performer. Just look at all the Food Patrol stickers on the door. Assistant manager Edna Alvarez couldn't be more proud of the accomplishment. What do you want people to know when they see the sticker on the door year after year? We care about them. We care about the customer. We care that they have uh, quality, good quality food with taste good, but it's also safe for them. You know what the Food Patrol says to that? Keep it clean. There you go. You <laughs> nailed it. Great job there. No other top performers tonight. Remember, kitchens, keep it clean. We're reporting what's not on the menu. Now, Food Patrol fans, you got photos, video, you want to share what you found at restaurants? Post it right on my Facebook page where lots of people go to see what's happening across the RGV. To find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, just search Ryan Wolf.